It is Monday, and we've got a jam-packed day today. Poor Tad, it's his day off, but in reality it's not his day off because it's where the real work begins. No days off! Let's go! Come on! <laughs> okay, so today <clears throat> um, we are doing all the product shots for the website, so excited. I have a word that they said that they're gonna be able to ship out the product this Friday, but I've reached out and asked how, you know, scheduling was and they haven't gotten back to me. So I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna, we're gonna plan and take action as if the clothes are being shipped on Friday, because if they are, then we can get this ball rolling, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go to this camera store right now called Houston Camera Exchange, and I'm gonna take you guys with us, and I'll tell you guys why in a second. Bye. Hi, I just called about 15 minutes, um, 45 minutes ago. <laughs> I just need to purchase a paper backdrop and I was asking if, um, how I can see the colors and they told me that there was a display out here. Um, there, there is on the, on the wall by the door. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. So I'll go see that now. And we have them in, so here's the thing. Yeah. Um, uh, we do have certain colors in stock in four feet, seven feet and nine feet. Okay. Were you trying to do one person products, two people or family? Um, one person. one person. So if if all you need is one person, and as long as they're not extending their hands like yogas or athletes or, or lifting weights, four and a half feet is sufficient. As long as you know, like you're doing head shots, uh, mm. portrait shots, half shots, three quarter shots, the four and a half is fine. Those are forty dollars plus tax. And. What? I need I it's it well it's for active wear so I might you know be moving a little bit. Um, I would probably do seven feet. Seven. But okay. Not nine feet. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Yami. Yami. Okay. Are you outside? Yeah, I'm in my car. I'll I'll walk over now. Okay. All right. Thank okay. You. Thank you. That was nice of him to like describe mm -hmm. what. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you guys got the gist of what we have to do. The paper. Um, they're not letting anybody into their showroom, so they have a picture of what the colors they have. I pray they have what I'm looking for because I saw two on the site that I really liked, but I wanted to see them a little bit closer, so we'll, we'll see. Um, ooh, that's really bright. Um, no, turn it off. <clears throat> These allergies are no joke. Okay, let's go. Just, we just put the colors on. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So I'm thinking about going with the mocha. So our activewear has a, a slight color of like, like the backdrop is like a beige. Um, and I want to kind of make that pop a little bit. So in between the, I think, I don't know. You can, I like those two, but what do you like? Oh, sorry. Oh. I didn't have almonds, so I brought these the other two. Okay. I brought pecan and I brought mocha. Oh, this is mocha. Oh, yes. they're so slight. Like it's, it's, it's subtle. It's, it's, not. it's subtle. But here's the thing: is you can get this close to that. Thank you. And post. You can, or even in lighting. Depending on what lighting you're using, you can get this to look like that. No, I think I'm between these two, but I think that one. The mocha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and this is a four feet. That's four, four and a half. Four and a half. No, we need more. Seven. Okay, we're back home and we are now in my garage where I store everything. And so what I'm doing now is I'm pulling some pieces um, so that I can shoot in them because 
I'm crazy. I'm reshooting everything that we have. So we have a couple things in stock. And my thing is if we have at least one thing in stock, I have to shoot it so that the website is completely cohesive. I cannot have a different picture. So it might have to take a little bit more work, but I just want to do everything with excellence as best as I can. And that means shooting all those pieces. Um, we don't have much stock left, but there are like two or three of each size of some stuff that um, has to get shot. So I'm also pulling some new crop tops that I haven't really announced yet because <laughs> they were supposed to launch months ago with the um, joggers and all those pieces, but manufacturing problems and I finally got them. So I'll be shooting those as well. So that'll be part of the launch. And then the canvas bag that all your clothes will be packaged in. I want to, um, I want to shoot that as well. So I'm going to grab so many bags. Um, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab the shirts and then some pieces. And then here's Taz <laughs> carrying all the things. All right. I'll see you guys upstairs. Okay. So we're going to shoot right here. <laughs> Taz is setting up the stand, the backdrop. We have the lights. And while he's doing that, I am going to make us some breakfast. So we have a full belly before we shoot. And then after breakfast, I'm gonna, you know, fix all of this. <laughs> so that's a glimpse into what we're doing right now. Okay, here's breakfast. Um, we're using the Dave's Killer Bread, Killer Classic. And then I put a little bit of butter, little bit, and then an egg and then some bacon on the side. And it looks a little bit small, but Taz and I had an appetite. And we don't have it to show you because we already ate it. But if you ever want something really, really delightful, um, toast up an English muffin, put some butter on there. And I know it's gonna sound weird, but drizzle some honey on top. Chef's kiss. So, so good. Right, babe? The best. The best. Okay, we're gonna eat and then I'm gonna get ready to shoot. Bye. Okay, friends, so before I get ready, I'm just looking at my shoot list or shot list, and I thought it'd be really good to explain what that is in case you are new at this and you're just starting out. So at first, I did not do this, but now with the experience that I have, I know that it's um, beneficial to have a shot list of things you wanna capture. Now, that could be for like a campaign shoot when you're not in a uh, studio setting or it can be for product shots so for me since i'm doing everything that i have in stock i do want to make sure that i don't miss anything so for example i will show you now what i'm shooting but i have other things that i want to shoot like my packaging what the clothes are going to come in because it's not going to be your regular packaging so here's what mine looks like and it's not super crazy it's just all, like every single item that i have and then in the colorways that they're coming in and then I have like my tank, my joggers, crew neck, and then this is a canvas bag and then our sustainable packaging. And I just did it like this so that when it's done, I can check it. And this, the highlighted portion is the actual product. And then I can, you know, check that off as soon as all of them are done. So that's what my product shot looks like right now. I am thinking that for swim, I am not redoing it i think i want to use the pictures that we took in either mexico or florida but i went through all of them last night and i think right now i have enough if i don't have enough i think that i'm just gonna try to do some product shots by water because i really want to differentiate the active wear versus the swimwear and i want to use the backdrop or the scene as the thing that differentiates it hope that makes sense okay I'm gonna really go get ready now. Taz is gonna steam and, and iron some things that I had to grab from downstairs by the inventory. And then I think, actually, I think I'm gonna lay everything out now. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get all the pieces that we're shooting, put them out on my bed so that when I go to shoot them, they are right there and accessible. Okay, okay so this is <laughs> everything we're shooting today, dog not included. Um, Taz started ironing some stuff for me. He's actually doing some right now just to make sure it's perfect. Get your perfect. What? Gotta be perfect. Gotta be perfect because we're doing everything with what? Excellence. Excellence. <laughs> I really prayed that you said that. <laughs> okay, but now I am going to get ready because 
Yeah, look at that. What is happening? I don't even know. Okay, I hope I can make something out of nothing with this. In three, two, one. And we are ready to go using my iPhone now because Taz is setting up the camera. But this is the first outfit. We have the um, no seam legging with the reversible crop top. We're gonna take the 10K picture first and then start shooting the product shots for everything. So let's go. Praying that this goes smooth and not, and not take too long. taking a rice cake break we have pretty much finished all of these sets and now we're just going to take some product shots of everything else that's on the set we've been kind of interweaving some products with this but now i think all we have left is everything else so we like i said taking a quick little break because your girl is starving he didn't want to give the model a break he's like no models don't eat not much of your company. Man, <laughs> nowadays. Just always eating breaks and stuff. That's my company. Yeah. I'm paying you. Okay. I'm going to have another rice cake. And we're going to speed through this, right? Yeah, we are. Let's go. Although, I am very happy with how the pictures are coming out. Sorry, this is really rude. But... Pompous grass looking great. The backdrop looking great. The vibe is looking great. I'm V, V happy. The is looking great. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> He's making himself a soup. So random. <laughs> is just beginning. <laughs> okay, so Taz and I have cleaned up. It looks semi-clean. And um, now what I have to do is I have to take the SD card and I'm gonna transfer it to my iPad. This is not a very good setup here. Okay, I'll just do this. I have to transfer it to my iPad so that I can go ahead and pick the photos that I want edit because not all of them are you know good so here we go let us upload pictures and then i have to pick the faves and then taz or myself will go ahead and edit them so that's what we're gonna do now my phone is or my ipad is not working i'm actually using my ipad i typically use the computer but i'm using the ipad because i bought some excuse me i'm just kidding do you think we're gonna get copyrighted for this music? Hope not. Hope not. Um, oh, I bought some presets and the lighting was so good on the show, on the shoot, that we don't have to edit it too much. So um, I think we'll be fine. Or that's why I'm putting it on um, my iPad so that I can use the presets that are on my iPad. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's import this. Okay, this is gonna take a really long time, so I'll just come back when I'm editing, or not editing, I am taking the photos. Or I'll just come back after. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided. My, my brain is mush right now, so. Hi friends, coming to you from the future or the past when you're watching this, but I realized I didn't do an outro to this video. Um, and I just wanted to come on and kind of let you guys know how we would end up choosing the photos and what we would do next. So what I ended up doing is I sat down and I chose my top pictures. And then from there, I mean, I still chose quite a bit. From there, I went to edit them. And then um, these edits were very, very minimal just because we did really well with lighting the shoot. And so what we kind of shot was initially what, or what we wanted to look like 
for the final picture. So I was very, very happy with the lighting. And so, like I said, the edits were very minimal. It was kind of like cropping it or adjusting the shadows a little bit, bringing on the highlights. And I'm gonna put in the screen right here or on the screen right here, what some of them looked like. I am very, very happy with what we did. I'm so thankful for Taz that he was able to do that for me on his day off. And um, now what I'm gonna do with these pictures, I'm gonna pick the ones that I want for the website and then I'm gonna go ahead and plan the social media strategy um, leading up to launch. So I'm literally gonna use an app to kind of place what I want, when I want it, when I wanna post it, and the captions and things of that sort so that when it, the day comes, I don't actually have to think about what to post or what to write, it's just gonna be there. Um, so that's that launch today is actually saturday the 14th i was supposed to um the clothes are supposed to be shipped yesterday the 13th and that did not happen um so apparently they're shipping on the 18th and i am leaning on a black friday launch haven't decided that yet i'm just being one-on-one -on -one girl talk with you because you're my friend. This is not an official announcement, but it's just, I'm just talking things through so you guys understand like my thought process and, and how I make these decisions. So um, as of right now, I'm leaning towards Black Friday. And then this coming week, what I'm gonna be working on is finding storage for everything. I have to probably do that upstairs. Um, the social media stuff, um, a couple influencers that I'm sending stuff out to, not a ton because I don't have that much inventory you heard it here first there's not a lot of inventory um and then just finalize everything and get ready for black friday um i think that's it for now if you have any questions on anything that i mentioned leave them down below so i can um, answer those questions in the next vlog but as of right now i'm out gotta go sit behind a computer and work thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe so you never miss a video again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love y'all.